Our top story, the name of the BBC presenter who is in the center of the controversy over paying for sexually explicit images has been revealed. The revelation is a major breakthrough in the case which has rocked the British media. The name of the now suspended BBC presenter is Hugh Edwards. His name was revealed by his wife. She revealed his name shortly after the Metropolitan Police said that there is no evidence to support the allegations against him. The presenter's wife said Edwards is battling severe depression and will be staying in the hospital for the next foreseeable future. According to his wife, the BBC presenter has had a history of mental health issues and the new allegations have made the matters worse. Vicky Flind, who is Edward's wife, added that he will respond to the allegations after he recovers. The revelation might be shocking for many as Edwards is among the popular faces of BBC. He has led coverage of the biggest events in Britain like elections, the royal weddings and the 2012 Olympics. He was also the one who announced the death of Queen Elizabeth to the nation in September. Edwards is also among the BBC's most highly paid staff. The story first broke on Friday when the Sun tabloid in a report said that a leading BBC journalist paid $45,000 to a young person who was 17 at that time for explicit photos over three years. Following this news, the news organization suspended the presenter but refused to name him. The report sent social media buzzing about who could be the accused and forced several leading BBC broadcasters, including Jeremy Vine, Nikki Campbell and Gary Lineker, to publicly state that they are not involved in the scandal. Now since Edward's name has been revealed, several such presenters and Edward's colleagues have extended support to him. BBC says that it will continue with its internal investigation into these allegations. While The Sun says that it will not publish any further allegations and would cooperate with BBC's investigation. Edward's wife has apologized to all his colleagues who were dragged into this issue and she hopes that her statement will put an end to the media speculation which had impacted the fellow presenters. Well, for more on this, we are now joined by Ray Locker from Washington, D.C. He is a senior journalist, an author, and a columnist. Ray, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Ray, shocking revelation. Anyone who's ever watched BBC would recognize Hugh Edwards. Well, there is no evidence to support the claims as of now. But talk to us about the revelation. What does it hint at about the work culture there? Apart from the investigation, how else do you see BBC responding to this? Well, I think they'll try to get out as much information as they can. It certainly doesn't benefit them to hold anything back. I mean, now that this thing is out and the police have said there's no criminal activity involved, it's hugely embarrassing for Hugh Edwards, as it would be for anyone else. And it doesn't look good for the Sun tabloid, which seemed to have jumped the gun um, without having much information. They were going for a headline. They got it. And then... As we learn more about the story, it seems quite not as titillating as they thought it would be. Right. Now, regardless of the investigation findings, how do you feel this will impact BBC and Hugh Edwards going forward? Well, I don't know about the BBC, but I'd say his career is probably wrecked. Um, it's going to be hard to come back from. I mean, whenever people see him on TV from now on, they'll remember that, regardless of what the outcome of the criminal investigation was. And I think he'll probably uh, step aside or find something else to do and take some time out of the public eye and rehabilitate his career if that's possible. Right. You did hint at this in my earlier question. It was a Sun tabloid report that caused the storm for BBC. Now, of course, Sun is saying that they will comply uh, with the investigations and not make further allegations. The claims are surely devastating for BBC and its top presenter. Is there any hint of sabotage or is it pure reportage, you think? Oh, look, you get a story like this. It sounds great. You, you know, there's a prominent broadcaster behind it. You go as hard as you can because what you know initially is that it's really bad. Somebody's paying for uh, sexually explicit photos from an underage girl. That's not a good thing. And so it's natural that somebody would uh, pursue that story. 
but seems like based on what I've seen from the initial report is they didn't really have everything they needed to have to get that out there. And now the basic details of the story are kind of crumbling around them. Right. Uh, let's hope that the justice has prevailed there. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. Thanks for having me, Isha.